Welcome back to another beautiful day in the land of music. My name is Douglas and today I've got another quick video to show you how to get the M-Audio Oxygen Pro set up in FL Studio. Now I'm not an FL Studio user, but I noticed a lot of comments where users were having issues getting the controller to work right in FL Studio. So I wanted to make this video. I downloaded the trial, tested it out myself, got it to work, and I wanted to share some of that knowledge with you to hopefully save you some headache as you go to use it with FL Studio. That being said, there's a couple of bugs and I'll talk about those at this current time. I know that M-Audio is working on a firmware update and this can happen anytime you've got two different manufacturers or companies. So FL Studio and the Oxygen Pro. The Oxygen Pro is tested with a certain version of a DAW and then the makers of the DAW update it and sometimes it can break some of the functionality that's been set up or in this case configured in the controller. So take it with a grain of salt. There are a couple of bugs I'll talk about. Just don't hit those keys and hopefully M-Audio will release that firmware update to get this working real nice. So let's jump over to my computer here and take a look at how we set up FL Studio to communicate with the Oxygen Pro. I'm gonna assume you've got the Oxygen Pro plugged in and turned on via USB. And with our DAW open, go to the options menu and go to MIDI settings. In here, there's a few settings we're gonna to have to set. The first, in order to get the keys and the pads to work, is you're gonna to have to enable the Oxygen Pro 25 as an input. So just highlight that if it isn't, go to enable, and then make sure that this is set to generic controller. This is going to allow our keys, and you'll notice as I play, I've got my note on showing here and my activity showing. Same with the pads, it's showing me which note and the velocity at which I'm hitting them. That works perfectly. In order to get the DAW controls to work, we're gonna to need to do two things. The first is we're gonna to go to MIDI in three. We're gonna enable that. And then in the controller type, we're gonna go down and we're going to select Mackie Control Universal. In our port, we're gonna set our port to one. Now it's important to note that in order to get the DAW controls to work, we're gonna have to go to the output section here. We're gonna go to our MIDI out three and FL Studio requires that your out and your in are both enabled with the same port and parameters. So we're gonna go to MIDI out three and we're gonna set this to port one as well. At this point, you can see we've got MIDI out three on and set to port one, MIDI in three on and set to port one. Now the last thing we're gonna have to do is over on our controller, make sure that the DAW mode is turned on, which means this button here is eliminated. We're gonna hold down on this button and we're gonna scroll over and we're gonna choose FL Studio. Press down on the rotary encoder. Also go to your global menu, scroll over and make sure that the PC setting is set to Windows or Mac, whichever one you're using. I'm using Windows in this case, so we're gonna leave it on that. Go back, and now if I use my transport controls, you'll notice that play, stop, record, I can move back and forth in my transport uh, here with these back and forth buttons. And then you'll also notice that my number one knob here, my number two, controls the faders over here in my mix view, right? So. That being said, we've got our keys to work, our pads to work, our transport controls to work. We can even use the DAW shortcuts, such as save or undo, any of those. We can change our volume. We can go to pan by holding shift, tapping pan, and now we can control the pan of our various tracks, right? All of that works perfectly. A Couple of bugs that I wanna mention as of the time of making this video, the soft buttons over here on the right, if you tap those, it's going to kill the connection to the DAW controls. And you'll have to turn the controller off and back on. You don't have to close your DAW, but you will have to restart the controller in order to get the DAW controls to work again. Something a little buggy there. I also noticed that if I hold shift and tap on the view, which switches you back and forth between mix and edit view, um, it wasn't every time, but off and on, it would also break the connection to the DAW controls. I found that as long as I didn't use that view shift view shortcut and I didn't touch these soft buttons over here, 
everything continued to work fine uh, and I had no issues. I left this uh, on for a while, played around with a bunch of stuff, gave it a bunch of time and everything seems to work fairly consistently. Um, it, Aside from those couple of bugs, I believe M Audio is working on a firmware update right now to fix some of the little bugs and stuff in the controller. So as soon as that's out, I'll post that in the comments below so you guys can go grab that and get your controller updated to take care of some of these little bugs. But in the meantime, stay away from these soft keys here if you're using FL Studio. Hopefully the rest works great for you. If you've got questions, throw them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Stay inspired and keep making that music.